Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm Take Two. I'm Christy. Um, today's going to be just a little bit different, and it's something that I've thought about doing. This is my first podcast in July, and that puts me halfway through the year. And this year I've been focusing on more of the things that I make, and I'm trying to keep track better. So this is probably more for me than you guys. I don't know if you'll enjoy seeing it or not, but yeah, we're going to go for it. So in the chapel, we've got Proverbs 10, 4, and it says, while slack hands make poverty, busy hands or hands of diligence make rich. So yeah, I, I'm concentrating on the work that I'm going to do. Um, we are going to get into a little bit of what I've got in the basket and all that stuff. So um, I still have this little poncho that I'm working on. Okay. Like I said, it's a mindless knit, but it's it's not anything I had planned. It's not one of the kits. It's just I'd gotten some beautiful yarn, and I think it's cute, and I'm going to make a, a poncho out of it. And it's just something to work on when I have time. Um, but I'll be honest with you, this week I have not concentrated on anything but the kits because I had, uh, because of the way they came, uh, because of Mary Maxim's switch over to their computer, they came like all at once and so I'm a little bit behind on that but so I showed you uh, this kit right here and I did start it um, it's pretty mindless and it's actually really pretty um, let me I remember my yarn was blue in my kit but I've only done a couple of rows and it is coming out amazing I like it I know the light in here is not that great um, hopefully at some point I might switch rooms that I do the podcast in when I get the living room done. So I've got this one that I've started and like I said, it's just a couple of, um, rows in. And then of course I still have this kit. I have not started this one. It came for July and if you remember, they gave me an extra one, which this is working up really quickly and really cute I'm not sure that I like the colors of it I wanted it to be more red and it seems to have more reds peaches and all of that Ooh, about to lose a stitch there we go so I did pick up this one and I've gotten this far just in the evening and it's really mindless you got to just pay attention there's only two rows you just repeat them until it's 60 some inches long <coughs> and then it's got the single crochet across the top and the bottom so it's really really simple and it's it's knitting up I just wanted more red in it if you remember this is the yarn and this oops, this over here this red it looks darker but there once it you crochet with it it looks almost muted so not a bad thing just wasn't what I wanted and that was from the July that they gave us a little extra for being patient with them so let's see what else I still have not woven in my ends for this one but I will and there's a reason that I'm showing you this one all right so the other two things that are in my tote for this week and I'm, I'm giving them away today um, I was supposed to do it last week, but my cold, as you can tell, it, it makes me sound horrible. I don't feel bad. I have a little bit of a headache. I took some ibuprofen. I don't take a lot of meds. I'd rather let things run its course and just get out of me. If I get really super bad, yes, I'll go to the doctor and, and see what they give. But I try to stay away from medications. I've heard, you know, too many horror stories of people over medicating themselves and then not having what they need to work when they really get sick so I just don't do it so if you remember we're doing the giveaway and it is the kit just like that blue one I just showed you um, whatever I just did with it this one um, this one is going to Andrea Jones she has watched us a long long time and she watched us before we were announced on any other before we did the giving away of the sheep that everybody announced um, she has stuck through it with us through thick and thin and she is going to get this one she has never won she has always entered but I don't think I've I've mailed her not one thing 
I, I that correct me if I'm wrong, Andrea, because I know you're watching. Um, and it may be Andrea. I, I don't know. But Miss Jones, whichever you are, you are getting this kit to make this pattern right here. Okay. Now, I'm going to tell you this. When I give you these kits, that doesn't mean you have to make what you, what's in them. You get the pattern. You get the yarn. You make whatever you want, but I would love to see what you do with it. If you do decide to make it, that's great. Pop us a picture. If you don't, that's fine too. I just like seeing. I've had some people take our yarn and make things, and I love seeing what they do with it. And I have not had time to wash and spin any straw farm wool, so there isn't really any yarn out there right now. So I know I'm not seeing those things created with our yarn. So I want to see things created with this if I can. So, Andrea, congratulations, and I'm just kind of glad you won. The other one is Kathleen is living the blessing. Now, she doesn't crochet from what I understand, but I'm going to give her the option. She can either take this kit, okay, or this is why I was showing you. I will send her the one that's already done, um, and I will weave in all the ends for you, I promise. So you can either have the completed project, okay, or you can have the kit to do your own. Now the only difference is this kit has um, a blue in it, and this one had tans and grays, and it's like creams and browns in it. So it is your choice. Both of you, please email me. Um, the email will be down in the little description email me not the farm and I will get those in the mail to you okay so and uh, Kathleen make sure you decide which one you want the completed project or the kit okay doesn't hurt my feelings either way I just know that I think in some of the comments you said you really don't um, crochet but you could do something with knit with this if you wanted so again you don't have to use the pattern that's with it don't know if you even craft at all who knows she could weave that would be beautiful woven together. I don't know. So those are your choices. Um, I need to hear from you guys within the next two weeks. Um, you're faithful listeners and watchers. So I'm pretty sure I'll hear from both of those. I don't think we'll have to uh, worry about those two prizes being claimed. Okay. So, all right. That is what I have been working on. <coughs> I do have... Um, a little bit of an RJ update. We're skipping around. We're going to do some stuff in the beginning and it's, you'll see why. Um, so I have one little bit of an update. Coop got the rest of her stitches out in, and she's doing amazing. She is now exercising. He's not allowed to ride her yet for another week, but he, she's exercising and she is getting back in shape. The wound is healed. The drain tube held. You guys know how I feel about y'all and, and sending us all the positive energy you could um you know i love you for that so it's still the support just brings me to tears without you guys and without like minds and not everyone in my world is very um they don't believe in like the power of, they, they just think words are words they don't realize how it really works and so i have you guys and that is a big strength for me um, and I love it okay I know that I'm not one of the biggest channels out there but God doesn't say quantities it just says like minds so if there was just a few out there with like minds like me sending energy to these horses that makes it all the better okay and I've seen the end result so I know it works okay um, then star had a little bit of an episode Okay, I don't know. I know a couple of you have watched way back when we first got Star. Um, she was at a facility and a guy wanted a chance. It's Kevin. It, it's a trainer that we worked with and he wanted a chance to work with a Mustang, blah, blah, blah. She had a choking incident where she got a wad of cud or something in her throat. We literally had to rush her to the vet and he had to rinse it out, like suction it out. She lived. She was fine. It scared us to death okay so this little thing well RJ was on the road he was traveling last weekend Coop isn't up to par so Star had been picking up slack and and doing 
And uh, so she, he thought she might, he says her eyes just glazed over. She acted like she was sore. They gave her a shot of Banamine and it turns out she tried to colic on them. He was up all night walking her, keeping her moving. She finally pooped. Um, the next day she was super sore, like her gut and everything. Um, took two or three days and he said, mom, I don't know if it started with a wad getting stuck in her throat or not. He says, I don't know this time. So she is on the mend. Um, she still needs, these two horses still need good vibes, still need the power of prayer, but they're on the road to recovery. And anytime you have animals, you know, things happen, um, medical things, veterinary things, and not always at the most convenient time. So, um, what caused it? We don't know. And so, yeah, it, it is what it is. It happened. He was up all night. Um, he did his due diligence and he said, mom, I'll be honest with you. I didn't call you because I didn't know if she was going to make it. He said she was that bad. She didn't want to keep moving. She didn't want to keep, you know, he says, I knew if I made it through the night with her that she'd be fine. He said, but I didn't want to call you in the middle of the night and say, come help me with this horse. Because Star is my baby. Star and Kavayu are my babies. Okay, Coop, yes, I got Coop. And yes, I, but Coop belongs to RJ. Um, it is what it is. I mean, we have our favorites. We have the ones that, that we claim. And Star... No one at the Straw Family Farm or in our circle believed in Mustangs until I started this. And we've had some offers on Star and then RJ tells them, well, she's a Mustang and I'll flip it up. And oh, no, she's not. He'll flip them up and show her the, the brand. And people just are amazed. They, they're like, I never thought that that thing would look like a Mustang. I never realized. And so, yeah, it, it's kind of groundbreaking for us because we are... Um, using mustangs in a way that people normally just don't see them so anyway she is doing good she was a little sore the next day i kept in contact with him after he finally broke down and told me um he didn't want to tell me because like he said he wasn't sure how it was going to end and he knew i would be crushed so um yeah and he said he didn't want me there if it didn't turn out right so anyway Gotta love the kid for trying to protect his mom. But, boy, I'll tell you, it did scare me to death. So, I kept in contact with him for, like, the next two days. How is she? How is she? How is she? He's like, Mom, she's fine. She's fine. So, he's getting her back in shape. You know, after they have an episode like that, you don't jump right back in and do. Um, you kind of condition them again. So, um, he's got about a week of riding her and getting her conditioned and all that good stuff. So, yeah. Um, that's really all that's been going on in RJ's world. Uh, I do have a little bit of a house update, um, for in the farmhouse and I'm going to show you it right here. Okay. Just a really quick update after I took down the wallpaper, I painted the ceiling. You can see that the room is not done. I have three more walls to paint, but we've decided on this color it's a light gray let me see if I can get you there's more of what it looks like I guess you can see it better um, but I still have three walls to do just doing it a little at a time um, I hope to get one done today but I have this creepy thing going on so I don't know if I will but it's going to look amazing I really like um, the fact that the ceiling brightened up the room so much and it it just is coming along quite nicely okay i know it wasn't much but the ceiling took i use a really thick uh white ceiling paint so it's got the primer the stain guard and all of that in it so you don't have to kilt it and then do it again so it's really thick and it took me oh my gosh my arms were i don't care if you got a stick it still hurts okay i'm just telling you so I painted that and got it done. And then of course, my little bug is down here. I'm, his name is Worm, okay? I was gonna call him Woofer, but every time he goes outside, he burrows through the grass and he's brown. And I've been naming, I've been calling him Worm more than anything. 
Um, so I think his name will probably be Worm. And he is down here at my feet. He's asleep. Let me see. There he is. Oh. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> It is nap time. He does go to work with me every day. He is the office. We've been taking some pictures so that she has some stuff. So that our branch manager has stuff to put on Facebook. Um, we've been doing some really cute stuff. He was introduced as our receptionist on their page. Um, I had a picture of him on the phone. Like the phone just laying there with him. And then I got one picture of him par carrying my pen around as he walked across my paperwork. And it made it look like he was doing paperwork. So we did that. Then we put him in a little bucket. And he's hanging there from the desk. It's our, uh, sometimes it's Christmas light. It's just hooks for our decorations. So I put him in there. Then we did a, a Wednesday one that said, um, hang in there. You know, the weekends are coming. And so we've been doing cute stuff with him. He has a little playpen that I invested in for 20 bucks off the internet. Best thing I ever did. He was outside in it. It's got a top, it creates some shade. Uh, I can keep him contained. He's so little, he is two pounds, folks. Well, he's two pounds, eight and a half ounces. Um, when I got him, he weighed in at one pound, nine ounces. He is now up to two pounds, eight and a half ounces as of yesterday. So in two weeks, he's still gaining. You know that I think that weight gain is always a good indicator of <coughs> how healthy things are and how you know we weighed all the lambs every day to make sure that they were gaining so that we could spot things ahead of time i'm doing the same thing with him he eats about every two hours he's on his own little routine um he's doing really good uh he goes to work with me he's kennel broke he goes in his kennel willingly he goes in his playpen willingly you know at the office, he behaves a little bit more than he does here. He acts like hell on wheels here. I'm not going to be funny about it. He, yeah, he can be out, out there. So anyway, that is pretty much the update of what's been going around here. Now, the last part of this um, video, I'm really into, and for years, I've never done this. I've made stuff and sold stuff and never taken note of how much I actually do. The only thing I don't have here to show you is the yarn that I did, that I dyed, that I, I spun it, I dyed it, and I have not found a pattern yet. I actually found a pattern that I'm contemplating, and so I haven't done anything with it yet. So that's the only thing you won't see here today. But I wanted to kind of show how much, because it looks like I've got a lot of projects going and none of them are done. But I really do think that I am productive for the year, okay? So this is the rug, okay, if you guys remember it. And I said I wasn't going to take all of them out, but some of them I will and some of them I won't. So I had made this one, all right? And some of these I worked on at work, so I don't really know that I ever showed them to you. So this is the rug, the fluffy little rug that's a Christmas gift. And it is awesome. I love that rug, by the way. And I've honestly thought about keeping it. But I need it for a Christmas gift for a gentleman. And I honestly, I don't know what else I'd give him. That's why I'm not going to keep it. Because I did, I leave wove on that thing for days. And, and, you know, it is what it is. So there was that one. Then, if you remember, I made the two baby blankets. These are spoken for. I just have to get them to Coffeeville. I haven't been up that way in a while. So, I have the two little um, blankets. One's boy, one's girl. And they're for two cousins. And those two, like I said, are spoken for. Then, if you remember, I did... And we're kind of working backwards um, on what you've seen. So some of these you might go, hmm, I missed that one. Okay, so this one is the little uh, shrug that you just put your arms in. And it's got the little, um, what do you call it? 
accessory to go with it. Okay, that one I don't know. No. Okay. Yeah. Nope. Nope. Okay. So the other one I did, this next one, was, and remember, all of this has been done since January 1. This is the virus shawl that I made. It's the actual shawl. And it's made with yarn that has glitz in it. And I have not, does I have a couple of things, but I have not designated who gets what yet. So a lot of these are Christmas presents, okay? Um, one of the other things that I worked on, and I don't know that I ever showed this one on the podcast, um, but this one I did at work, and it's a circular shawl. And let me see if I can find the top and the bottom. There we go. So it is a circular shawl. Here's the two arms. You're looking at the back of it. It's just a big yellow circular shawl. I'm holding up on these two right here. Okay. So the last two are ponchos. And I really think that I've done a lot because I do work. This is just what I do in my spare time. So if you remember, I made, I was playing around with the virus shawl and I made this poncho just being funny. It was made with the uh, leftovers from the sampler quilt that I did last year. I'm not showing you that just because it was last year. I didn't finish it till this year, but it was last year's. Okay, so um, I don't really count it in because I think I only had like maybe six to ten squares left to do out of 30. So yeah, but anyway, I got this one and it's a big poncho. And then this, this one is one that is spoken for. I know exactly who this is going to and what's you know, and this is for RJ's girlfriend. Her favorite color is red, and it is also a virus shawl. She weighs maybe 100 pounds, and it is super cute. And I really like this pattern. It is versatile. You can make more with it than what you think. So here is this, and it is 100% wool. Hers was done with wool, not acrylic. Um, I wanted something that was going to last, something that, you know, is something that brings her into RJ's world. It is not wool from our farm because I needed way more than I had time to spend. So she's got that and then and her favorite color is red so I got the really bright red for her. And I honestly thought if this had been a little bit brighter red I was going to give that to her too for Christmas so I, I don't know though. But that is my year in review right now. Uh, that is six months worth of work. We're talking two ponchos, a shrug, um, two baby blankets, a shawl, a rug, and then, of course, dyeing that yarn. And I have these things that I still have going. Out. Of course, the geo, I still have it going. Um, but, yeah. Oh, and for that other... Um, poncho and I didn't get it in the bag this is one thing I made a little scarf to go with that gray and white it's one of those infinity scarves it's just real loose and that way because the wool one I made is super heavy um it can be worn all winter probably the one that I did with the acrylic it's not as heavy and so I did this to kind of put over the head so this one and this one or go together and that's kind of why I was hoping this would but who knows maybe I'll find something else to go with that red poncho um, I always like having it so you can wear two things separately or you can um, put things together so yeah I think that I have been super productive and that doesn't even count 
this one. Okay, so remember I made this one too. Um, but yeah, I think I've been super productive. I need to get these things done and get caught up. And I, I've gotten to a point, I used to just monogamously um, crochet one thing at a time. Um, it also doesn't count the shawls that I gave away that I worked on at work and would just give them away. I called them prayer shawls and gave them to, I think that whole line, that whole street of Christus has shawls from me. Um, especially the older ladies uh, that have lived there for a long time. So, um, yeah, I hope to start getting with it and get uh, things done. This one, I'm pretty sure I'm going to knock out pretty quick. Uh, the other poncho, the Geo, will sit. And this one, and I will work on this. I've decided I am not going to start this one, which is that spring shawl that came with the kit. I am not going to start this one. There it is until I get one of these done. I have decided that three projects is how many is going to be my limit. I'm going to limit myself to having three going at a time. One, of course, being that mindless knit. So, I do think, I, I've made hats here and there that is not in this collection. This is all the stuff that I've done out of the kits and that I'm trying to use for Christmas. <coughs> I am trying to give something that I have made to Chris, for Christmas so we'll see how it goes that's all I can say is we'll see how it goes um, like I said I don't know who's getting what yet I've got to talk to roommate because roommate's mother will get something roommate's dad will get something I mean these are people that are in our lives and the other thing and I missed that um, I should have been telling it in the farmhouse too roommate's birthday is 4th of July so we had I had called roommate's mom and gotten some names of some friends from high school that roommate was super close with I'm sorry about my hair I haven't washed it today and it shows it it's of course the camera makes it all backwards but anyway um I had gotten some names of some people and I Facebook some people and she had some phone numbers and so roommate and I had decided that we weren't going to do 4th of July. You know, RJ's older. I used to spend 4th of July at Cowboy Christmas. That was all we did from the week before to the week after. Rodeo, rodeo, rodeo. We're constantly gone. We'd come home just long enough to do chores and then get up and go to the next place. We had some place to go every day. Um, I'm no longer driving for him. He's 24 years old. I know you guys have seen him grow up from the time he's about 13 till now. He's 24. Um, yeah, he doesn't need his mama going anymore. So him and his girlfriend go. Uh, if he needs an extra driver, he'll hop in with some other people. We've got the big five horse slant so people hop in with him so that they've got more than one driver. Uh, just a bunch of stuff you know he, he's always going with his buddies and so roommate and I decided again we did it last year I hadn't been here that long um, matter of fact we had only moved into this house like I don't know well, I don't even think we'd moved in 4th of July um, roommate had moved in but I hadn't uh, we were still discussing and talking and didn't know how this was going to work um, but yeah I ended up being a roommate but that wasn't until later on so we were here and we did do a cookout last 4th of July here and just roommates because it was roommates birthday we grilled out just did burgers and dogs roommates mom and stepdad came um and i was here and that was it uh a lot of it was just getting to know roommates parents and roommate you know you can't be roommates without somebody without if you're going to intertwine two lives it just takes a little bit and um it living with someone um as roommates 
as anything really you have to know that you're gonna get along and their beliefs and I, I don't take it lightly I don't care if it's just roommates or not or if it's something more serious um, you have to know that you can get through the the tiffs too you know so um, yeah it, it was just one of those things so we did that last year well this year um, we decided we were gonna do the same thing or so roommate thought and then I got with roommates mom and stepdad roommates had a really rough last year was really rough on roommate um, it roommate had a lot of death in their family and this year was it just kind of continued roommates aunt's husband died um, and the funeral was the day before 4th of July which is the day before roommates birthday so anyway we pulled some friends and said hey let's do this for roommate and so we had a, a about 10 or 15 people here just having burgers and dogs the same thing we did last year but roommate got to reminisce and and it was a good day so I should have put that in the first part before I started the recap of my thing so but anyway puppy is still sound asleep still sound asleep here baby come here warm yes and he loves to sleep in mommy's arms huh and he's gonna drift right off to sleep again he's like mm-hmm it's nap time so anyway um, I think that's all I have today I do want to encourage our two winners um, to give me an email you know Kathleen decide which one you want Andrea or Andrea I know you want the kit you crochet I know um, so just give me a holler let me know what you guys want and we will get those in the mail to you but other than that I just I know I've been oh my hair I know I've been productive this year and I keep I'm hoping to keep that trend going so and of course this helps yes oh I forgot his little bag I crocheted that too huh <laughs> he doesn't care or I'm just like hold me I'm going to sleep <laughs> sleepy puppy but he is getting big um, I remember the first time that I held him, he just took up this. Remember, I followed him before I decided he was going to be mine. Okay, and I actually followed his brother. <laughs> Who could not love that face? Who could not love that face? These little bitty paws. Yeah, these little bitty paws. <laughs> so, anyway, I hope you guys have been productive. Or that this encourages you to be productive um, I hope that you guys continue on to watch us and and keep up with us uh, next week we'll be back on track with everything and back to our regular podcast and hopefully I'll have some other things to show you um, that I'm getting done because I, like I said I do want to get some of these done they're they're quick workups the blue shirt is super easy um the little scarf is super easy the poncho it it was just something that i was giving yarn it had two separate things and i was like i don't really want to make round blankets so i put them together and was making that when i had no kits because they didn't come in because of the whole system switch so <coughs> anyway he's cute isn't he Yes, but I will see you guys next week and we'll be back on track. So have a great one and love hugs and blessings to all of you.